Let's go, Costa Rica. Oh, right, we oh, come right, on. Right. guys we made it here to costa rica we touched down now we're headed to la fortuna our snake hunting spot and if you guys look closely you can see we're literally driving in the clouds that's because we're so high on the altitude we're, oh, we're, we're in the clouds brother bro look at the edge uh, of the road right here it's insane and we're also driving on a cliff so if chandler crashes we fall down a mountain right oh my god it's right. so meet y'all la fortuna okay we're not done <laughs> the clouds, Please, bro, the clouds <laughs> have gotten worse Oh. oh, we just came out of it. You saw that? I think it's the wind. It's super windy on the side. Oh, man. Yo, we're out here in the Costa Rican jungle. This is no joke. All right, so what we're doing, me and Chandler just pulled up to our hotel, unpacked our bags, <laughs> threw on some boots, threw on some sneakers because Chandler forgot his boots, <laughs> and uh, we went down to this little riverbed, and we're just snake hunting. Now, this is a perfect spot. It's down low. Now, it's pretty cold here in Costa Rica, so we don't want to go too high up on the mountain because it's really windy. So we're coming here down low to the creek and we're gonna see if we can find any animals moving around here. Snakes, fertile lances, eyelash vipers. Y'all stay tuned, we'll let you know we can find. All right guys, check this out. Now this is the first snake of the night me and Chandler found and it's a venomous snake, it's a coral snake. Costa Rican coral snake. Now if you look at this guy, he actually looks very, very similar to the ones in North America and they're super rare and hard to find, but check this guy out. Look how beautiful he is. Look at those bands running across his belly classic red touch yellow killer fellow but that does not apply to all these snakes here in costa rica there's many different types of coral snakes and that color scheme does not apply to all but check this out an absolute amazing find chandler let's go our first snake and coral first snake. night we got here at about 10 o'clock at night we started road cruising it's raining it's about 69 degrees it's super cold and we just happened to produce this little male coral snake check that out oh sweet deal let's go baby Woo! on to the next Just pulled up to this river. Woo, doggy. We're looking for eyelash vipers. Now Chandler found one here last year, so that's why we came to this spot. Ooh, look at this little waterfall. This is insane. This is why I love Costa Rica. Right here, this is our second live snake of the night, and it's a cloudy snail eater. Look at the colors on this guy. They call them cloudy snail eaters because they're super, super gray. Now there's several different species of snail eaters. Look at this guy. You can see he's flattening out his head, trying to mimic a venomous snake. This guy is harmless. And this is actually the second clouded snail eater I've ever caught in my entire life. So this is a sweet find right here. I just told Chandler, I'm like, dude, I'm tired. Let's go back to the hotel. Two seconds later, we- I'm like, let's keep going. <laughs> Come on. All night, the snakes are moving. We should be moving. It's such a beautiful snake. Well, we found one first night. Ooh. Now you seem to find a fertile ants and you're finding all the classics in one Let's night. Go. All right, we're gonna get this guy off the road and move on to the next snake before I fall asleep. Yeah. 
Now this is a snake I have never seen before and I did not know existed until right now. This is a Costa Rican earth snake. Now check this little guy out. He's got red bands running down just about half of his body. But if you look closer to his neck, it's solid black. If you look at this guy's head, you can see it's super flat. Now that means he's a subterrestrial species, so he's gonna be digging in the dirt and in the sand. So this guy is basically living underground and living in holes his entire life. Look at that amazing snake. I love going snake hunting, coming out here, finding things that I have no idea what it is. That's what I love. I'm tired of finding the same old things in Florida. It's time to come out here to Costa Rica and find something new. Look at this guy. Woo, he's beautiful. No wonder they call him the earth snake. Look at his Such color. cool colors, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Costa Rican. Straight things. out the dirt, man. Costa Rican earth snake. Yes, uh, straight out the dirt, man. <laughs> Look how pretty. All right, so we're just gonna let this guy slither on. Woo, nice find. This is our sweet little crib that me and Chandler pulled into last night. Now, we couldn't see much because it was super dark, but here's a nice little view of it. Over there, check out that. These are lipstick palm trees. Now, you guys saw one of these at Blake's house. They're super tiny. But when they're larger, they get super red like this. Let's see what's in here. Whew. This is home for the next five days. Tate's kitchen, whip up some breakfast, beautiful mural. We're staying at the Arnold Volcano. That's the Arnold Volcano. It's right down the street. Two cans. Howling monkeys in the bathroom. Chandler's doing his thing over there. But this is the coolest part. My favorite part about the house is the backyard. Ooh, sweet little pad, little porch, hammock, and it overlooks this little valley into the rainforest. Now look, they don't call it the rainforest for nothing. It rains almost every single day here. I have the forecast for the day. You want to hear it? Yep. It's going to rain! Woo! Costa Rica. What a vibe. What a vibe. Land of the wet leaf. <laughs> Land of the wet leaf. Got a towel. Go. <laughs> all right guys it's day two out here in costa rica yesterday was raining all night while we were road cruising we didn't find much we found a few snail eaters but today it's going down it's sunny as you can see great weather me and chandler we're gonna go get a breakfast burrito and we're gonna hit the jungle see you there this right here is a costa rican ass coffee as fancy as it gets Pura vida. Pura vida. Guys, I am not lying when I say Costa Rica has the most quality food I've ever ate. Even the chicken. There's no so hormones, good. no preservatives. The chicken is great. The food is great. It was just clucking before Look, this, we got this here. This is my breakfast burrito, bro. Check this out. It doesn't get more healthier and fresher than that. Musa. rivers flowing off this mountain down through here into Lake Arnold. Now the volcano is actually on the opposite side of that lake. Like a salmon.
right, we're off the beaten path in this little, little trail, super narrow. You can see someone came here not too long ago. Now we just got a short window before it starts to rain. So follow me. Ooh. Oh, oh. Oh, dang. Look at this. These are the spots you want to go to, these little ravines. Because these snakes, a lot of the times, if they're not an arboreal species, they're going to go down low to where the base of these trees are. Inside these little root trunks, that's where they'll like to hang out. And also, my buddy Ross was just telling me, right now is the rainy season. So all these little creeks, they're usually way lower. Now the snakes that usually live by the creeks, during the rainy season, it'll flood. And it'll actually wash away their home, and it forces them to get out and move. So that's what we're trying to do is find a snake on the move, find a snake on the hunt. Yo, this is legit. Okay, this tree right here, this one we're walking up on, this thing is a perfect prime example of where snakes would like to hide in the base of a tree. You can see, there's just all these root systems, these little caves. This would be a perfect spot for a little fertile lands to hide. We're getting close. Ain't a real journey if you ain't bleeding a little bit. It's fine. Mosquito bite, little boy. My favorite thing to do is hike down a steep trail. Down, not up. Brother, Costa Rican slip and slide. Brother, I went down and had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Nice. Guys, we are real deal herping. Woo, dog. Did you get night. hit? Got hit, dude. Oh, so man. fresh. Let's move. Let's move. Everything let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Run. Let's go. When a power line falls in Costa Rica, this is how they fix it. They just put that little stick up, keep it off the ground so we can drive under. Problem solved. Super safe. Guys, we just put up on this baby clouded snail eater. Super cute little guy. Look how small this guy is compared to my hand. It's tiny. All right, guys, check this out. Me and Chandler just rolled up on this decent sized blunt headed tree snake. Now, the reason why they call them blunt headed tree snakes is because their head is so much more larger than their neck. Now, he's got that super short, round, blunt head, and that's why they call them blunt headed tree snakes. Now he is an arboreal species, now that's why he's so skinny, because he's up in the trees eating small lizards and things like that. But we found a couple of these guys dead on the road, and me and Chandler are super happy to find one alive. Look at him just periscoping, lifting his head up, seeing what's going on. Ooh, flicking his tongue, tasting the air, seeing what these Florida boys are about. Now this is a beautiful one. Beautiful markings down his tail. Ooh. We're gonna let this guy go in the trees and keep on hunting. All right, so this guy was going this way on the road. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna drop him right here on this leaf. And he'll find his way into the jungle. Look how long and lanky that snake is. Oh, ant in the road, my bad. Oh man, check this out. This is a little coffee snake. These things are beautiful. This guy sadly just got hit by a car. Look at him. R.I.P. brother. Hey, have a look at this, Mike. Clouded snail eater. What do you have to say, brother? It's such a beautiful specimen. Such look at it. Specimen. Like looking into a galaxy space. Good spot, Rasta. Good spot. This is the third one of the trip. Beautiful specimen. Let's keep it going, bro. Every time for the hole in the dock, right? <gasps> All right, so me and Chandler are walking at the same time. This bridge is not sturdy. Oh, did a piece of the bridge fall off? <laughs> yeah, it did. Nothing but good food here in Costa Rica. Shoot. So good, man. These guys are basically the South American version of a raccoon. Now look at him, he looks like a raccoon. His nose is a little bit modified, a little bit longer, and his tail actually goes up to a little curve. This guy, he probably got to the end of his tail bitten off by an ocelot or maybe another Cotamundi. This guy, he's used to being fed, so when we pull over the car, he thinks we're gonna feed him. 
but we don't want to do that because once you feed these guys, they become a little nuisance and they bite the out of you. They will bite the out of you. Yeah, but once you feed these guys, they associate you with food and uh, they might bite you. So it's a bad idea when you're in Costa Rica to just feed these guys. You can see this guy's just waiting for food. I put my hand out and he thinks I've got something. What's up, dude? Oh what my God, doing? look at this go to Mundy. Can He's literally you? in our car. Oh, do you know where I can find uh, directions to the r and Zoo, sir? Oh my can God. I help you? He's using that long nose to get up in the brush and dig for little bugs and little beetles. Look at this guy. Now in Costa Rica, when you're riding around, you'll see cars stop like this. You'll see people stop in the road. They're pointing in the bush. Now, whenever you see that, you want to stop. That usually means they saw a toucan, they saw a sloth or something like this, a coat of money. What's up, dude? He's got some chestnuts on him. You guys see him, that, see him using that nose. Look, he just found a little grub. Oh yeah, Good look at job, that. job, buddy. Look at this little jungle squirrel. Look at his little pointy ears. So cute. The clouds are slowly moving. You can kind of see the volcano right now. Look how beautiful that is. Mm. Guys, these meals never cease to amaze me. Thank you, Rust. The best. <laughs> Costa Rica has the coolest money ever. I love it. I wish America did it like that. Over here at the Hala Bar, we got some tilapia in this tank. And check out this cool little aquaponics system. This thing filters out down these PVC pipes into here and into this little garden. Now what they do is they'll chop up those fish. They'll make little fish sticks just like this, like Chandler's eating. I'm not a gay fish. <laughs> Guys, we just pulled up on this little species right here. We haven't even pulled him out of the tree yet. Me and Chandler were just road cruising down this trail, shining out the car. And there's this little black and white snail eater. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this guy. Come on, little guy. It's called a Look red striped that. thirst snake specifically, but yeah, it's a snail eater. Wow. I've never seen this species before. It looks like Dude. a crate from India. Chandler spotted this guy from the car. Great spot. Look at the top of his back. Dude. So beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. This snake is amazing. So these, this guy's just looking for all those snails that are moving after that rain. <laughs> this is like, we're like kids in a candy store herping out here. Now we don't know what we're going to find. We'll roll up on species. We have no idea what they even are. Now a smart thing to do when you come out here is to buy the reptiles and amphibians book. Now, if you're out here and you find a snake like this, and you don't know what it is. The first thing you want to do is identify it first. And then you can go ahead and take some pictures and grab it's it. Not do worth the risk do. with all the toxic snakes out here. There's too many coral snakes with too, too many, many random species. patterns. Yeah, yeah it's you crazy. can't take a chance like that. So cool! Oh my god, I've never seen this species before. All right, guys, so we just put this red striped thirst snake back on this leaf. Just this little guy right here. Me and Chandler, you guys know the beat. We're going to get back in the car. We're going to keep on hunting. Stone just spotted this massive spider, and I believe this is what's called a wandering spider. And if I'm right, the wandering spider is actually a species of spider that actually can kill you if you get bit by it. And you have a long-lasting erection, rock-hard erection. And it doesn't go away, and it ends with a violent, unsettling death from the venom of the spider. So you would not want to take a bite from one of these guys. It's not a party time. <laughs> party time time. <laughs> Bro, where'd he go? Dude. This is what, our third snail eater from the trip? Oh yeah. Let me see your distance on him too. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, look at his belly. Look at the rainbow your distance on him. Guys, check this little animal we just found. A Sicilian or something like that? It's an amphibian. Some kind of amphibian. And they have jaws. They have actual jaws. Oh, this thing is weird. It's like a giant worm. <laughs> Dude. Giant worm. Look at it. Look at it next to my foot. Look at this thing. Jeez. Oh, I gotta get a picture of it. Oh my god. Oh, I don't want it to bite me. It's so slimy. It's honestly like very unpleasantly slimy. Oh, get away from my foot. Oh, I don't even think he has eyes. But basically, these guys are like big worms now if you look at the end of his tail it looks exactly like his head 
Now that confuses predators on where to bite. Look at this guy, he has no eyes. This thing has no eyes. It's insane. Look at that beast of a roach. But look at this game. He might just eat that. Oh, come on. Eat that bug. Eat it! Eat it if you like us! But how about this roach, guys? This looks good, huh? Mm. Mm hmm <laughs> Check out these little geckos. They're all around our house. I have that. A lot of stick to your skin without letting go. Wait, what's, what's the neck? I don't know. I never saw Ooh, that. The neck. Comment below. Are these venom glands. 